Hello there everybody, how's it going? It's Jessie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff here on FlossTube. I'm coming to you on this very auspicious Friday, May 13th, 2022 with an update video and what promises to be a fairly quick update video. Uh, but I just want to quickly say welcome to both my returning viewers and also to anybody who is new here. Uh, I hope that you find something you like and you stick around. Today and on this channel, I talk mostly about cross stitch uh, sometimes, but not today. I will talk about books, as you see, and uh, knitting, which I haven't done in a long time. Uh, but today it's just a real quick cross stitch update. We made it back within a week and there's a lot of uh, cosmic things happening right now. And so I'm gonna take the win. Uh, I was able to get back today and, and film, which is great. Um, so I have zero whips to show you. Um, I have uh, a finish, of course, and then I have some upcoming plans and the tiniest little bit of haul. So yeah, it's gonna be a really quick one to, uh, to go through today. So um, before I start talking about projects though, a couple of things. Um, first of all, if you are waiting on a giveaway prize from me, first of all, please accept my sincerest apologies. All of that, everything is going out tomorrow. I'm getting everything out tomorrow. Um, yeah, I, I don't have any, I don't have any good reason for <laughs> anything taking this long. But um, like I said, if you're waiting for something from me, it's leaving my house tomorrow and it will be winging its way to you. And again, I am sorry. Um, I would like to say, take a second to say thank you for all of your comments on my last video. Just before hitting record here, I went through and reread them all and just thank you all so much. Um, thank you for the happy Mother's Day wishes. Uh, we had a really great Mother's Day. Um, I had a really great Mother's Day. And uh, yeah, it was, it was good. Um, but we'll, I guess we'll talk about that uh, as we go through things. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to do was a special thank you to Lauren. Um, so in the description box of my video, I have a link to buy me a coffee. It is totally optional. There is no, it's not mandatory. It's not necessary. It's just an option. If you feel like supporting the channel in a, in a monetary way, uh, you are more than welcome to do that. Um, and with those monies, I hope to be doing some more frequent giveaways uh, and also um, putting it towards framings and stuff because you know that I'm pretty bad at framing and so um, I'd like to uh, perhaps use your, your support in, in getting that done. <laughs> so thank you, Lauren, and um, to anybody who has donated or supported the channel in that way. Um, in the past. Okay, so uh, all of that aside, let's get into the projects that I have worked on, or should I say project? Because I worked on exactly one thing since uh, since you last saw me, and that is Crescent Dreams by Mirabilia. So uh, I was working on this for Finish It Mania, and I finished it last night. And I am so excited. It is still on my frame because it's kind of in a finished for right now sort of state. I think I'm going to change some things, but let me show it to you and then we'll talk. And that opalescent fabric is doing crazy things to the camera, but maybe if I, there we go. So a little bit of a tilt kind of brings the sparkle down a little bit. It's not that showy in person. It's much, it's more subtle in person. So, um, 32 count opalescent Belfast linen in Avalon by Under the Sea Fabrics. And uh, called for materials um, all throughout. Yeah. Um, so, I use the Mill Hill beads because they are petite beads, and there's hardly any beads on this piece. So, no big deal. Um, and then we have a teardrop crystal here at the top of the moon and the stars down here. The ribbon is what I'm going to change. The pattern calls for a quarter inch ribbon 
and I think it just looks too big. It's just, it looks like, it looks like a dominating aspect and I think it's most meant to be more of an accent kind of thing. I think it's too big. So I'm gonna go pick up some uh, 1 8 inch satin ribbon and try that. Uh, putting this ribbon on, not easy, not easy. Um, threading quarter inch ribbon through 32 count linen that it's already opalescent, uh, two out of 10 do not recommend. <laughs> Maybe not a zero out of ten, but a two out of ten. Yeah. But otherwise, um, I really, really enjoyed this. I stitched the skin one over one, as I as I do. Um, but, you know, teeny tiny baby face. And I also changed the hat. The hat was supposed to be done in the yellows of the moon. And the sort of customizable part of this she gives you both a blue and a pink version, is really just in the spots on the blanket. And so I thought, well, I'm gonna work some more pink in here. Uh, and so I changed her cap to include those pinks. And I think it turned out really pretty. So I am pleased. So when I first looked at this, I thought that the customizable part was the shading of the, the blanket that she's wrapped in because on the pattern cover it looks pretty blue and so I thought that's what was changed but they're in purples and so I was like this is great um, I will insert a picture here of baby does stuff uh, this was taken when she was almost a day old <laughs> um, but the the very first receiving blank blanket that I got for her it's kind, it kind of looks like this. It's kind of got those purples and pinks in it. I just thought that was so perfect. So, um, yeah, that was that was really special. Um, I contemplated putting her birth information on this because I don't really have anything currently that has her birth information, but I don't know if I really need a birth sampler kind of a thing. The other thing is that with this, um, I would like to, I would like for this to be a companion piece to Moonflowers, um, which is kind of always how I have envisioned it. And I'm not going to put my information on Moonflowers, and so I thought, well, let me just leave this one blank, and if I feel the need to input her birth information somewhere, then I can put that on something else, but it doesn't need to go on this one. And I have enough fabric here that I can stitch this again on this fabric. Um, so if we decide to have any more kids, um, then it c I could stitch it again. And I might inverse it, so stitch it in the other direction. But we'll see. So that is Crescent Dreams. Started on May 11th, 2020, the day that I found out I was pregnant. Um, finished on May 12th, 2022, the day that Baby Does Stuff turned 16 months old. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, seven days. So I stitched a Mirabilia in seven days. <laughs> and it's not an Aura Corbett either, it's under the Mirabilia heading. But it's also under the Little Stitches subheading, so it's kind of an Aura Corbett anyway. But that's okay. Um, that's, that's all good. Seven total stitching days. So excited to have another finish for Finish It Mania. And that's all I've worked on. So we're going to get into plans now. <laughs> this is going to move really quickly. So today is Friday the 13th. It is the only Friday the 13th of the year that deserves to be celebrated. Hence the Boo Crew sweater dress slash sweater shirt today. It is a very rainy day. Uh, it is it is beautiful. <laughs> um, and I really thought that I might have a new start. Something, something dark 13, something really special to start today. Uh, earlier this year, I think I showed that I managed to pick up a couple of primitive needle patterns and I considered those, but I changed my mind. I changed tack. Um, and I decided to go with a piece that I started on Friday the 13th in May 
in 2016. And that is the Horror Movie Alphabet by Clouds Factory. So pretty to hear what this will look like finished. Um, it's this project's birthday today, and so I thought that was kind of a good day to, to work on this. So here's where I'm starting from. And I would like to get three characters done before I put this down, because that will put me at 13 characters complete. It's going to start with Elvira and Frankenstein's monster. I still need to stitch in the monster part. And then either Hannibal or the Invisible Man um, will go there. Mm, I love this piece. This is on a 32 count Belfast linen in Lichen's Moon by Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, or affectionately referred to as Dried Blood. Brittany at Ingleside Imaginarium named this fabric years and years ago. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's so perfect. I, I love this piece and I'm really excited to get it on the frame. Um, I will work on this this afternoon and this evening. And I think at least half the day tomorrow. Just to celebrate. It's, it's Friday the 13th. This needs to happen. So that will be my plan for the next day, day and a half. We'll see how long it takes me to get three characters done. It shouldn't take much. They're not, they're not super big. But I started this project six years ago today, so who knows. Okay, so after Horror Movie Alphabet, um, I kind of had a decision to make. And I could keep going with Finish at Mania, or um, I have another project. I have a ton of projects that have birthdays this month, but I have another project that I was planning to work on this month, and that project's birthday is on Sunday. So, after Horror Movie Alphabet, I'm going to work on Garden Beauty by Mirabilia. Uh, because this project turns five on Sunday. Yep. Uh, which is okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right. I've got to get over myself. <laughs> Um, so, this is Garden Beauty. Um, this is MD86 from 2005. And I'm stitching this on Cardoin by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And I love this fabric. So this is where I will be starting from on Garden Beauty. And I'm only aiming for about 500 stitches. And tomorrow night is a game night, which means it's a stitch night for me. Um, so I'll work on this until I get my 500 stitches or something. Because I've got to get back to finish at Mania. And so I spun the wheel this morning to figure out what my next project for finish at Mania is. And that is a project that lives in this project bag. This is by Black Cat X Stitchery. Hi, Tiffany. Um, I didn't know she watched my channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it lives in this project bag here. And it is Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick. And this project's birthday is also on Sunday. So if I can get Horror Movie Alphabet done halfway through tomorrow, and then Garden Beauty done at the very latest halfway through Sunday, then I can work on this on its birthday too, which would be cool. So this is a Finish It Mania piece that's got a little bit more to do, left to do, than my most recent two. But I still think that it's possible. Um... So we'll see. It's not a big piece, which is why I think it's possible. This is on a 32 count Belfast linen in Winter Wishes by Hand Dye Fabrics by Stephanie. And I am using all of my own colors. I made this a very hokey uh, with a burnt orange and a cherry bark in there. I think I have Forest Glade in here somewhere or somewhere because uh, it's one of my favorite gas colors. Um, so yeah, so that is good intentions, or will be good intentions, I should say. So, 
I have the best of intentions of getting that finished, hopefully before my video next week, which would be so awesome to have a video a week during Finish It Mania. That would be so cool. I'm hoping to get two more, this one, and then I may choose my next one, but we will, we'll talk about that if and when that comes to fruition. So that is it for the plans. And we'll just get into haul. This is gonna be super fast. <laughs> this is a crazy fast video, but we need a we need a, a super fast one to sort of offset the, the crazy long one from last week. So I have just a little bit of haul. I had to order the beads and crystals for Crescent Dreams, but little packs of beads and crystals can't travel alone. So I bought uh, First Day of Christmas by Hello from Liz Matthews. Every time one of these comes out, I fall just a little bit more in love with them. And I think this may be a um, Christmas in July start. Yeah, maybe. So I will have a look at that. It's charted in DMC or MPI. Yep, I do love those. So I picked up that. And then I also got my coloring cotton fabric of the month. Um, this is technically fabric of the other month for me because I have a bi-monthly subscription. I get a quarter yard of Newcastle uh, 40 count linen and sweet tea. And this is not Virginia sweet tea. Virginia sweet tea is much more sugary. <laughs> it ends up a lot lighter. Um, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. I love a good darker fabric. Um, so, so there is sweet tea. The last piece of haul relates to my birthday slash Mother's Day. So I don't I don't even know who it was that I saw um, that was using this system, but my jaw hit the floor. And after I picked it up, <laughs> I showed it to, to my husband and he was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And it's with some birthday money and some Mother's Day gift, um, I made it happen. And I am, I am giddy. I am so excited about this. I can't wait to, to get it all finished up and organized. So without any more pomp and circumstance, this is from uh, Pip and Chip. They are an Etsy seller in the UK. They create these floss chips. So um, you put your skein through here, your remnants or leftovers through here. You have a hole here for putting them on a, on a floss ring with the, the label and including a preview of what the color is gonna be. So this is box one of two. And it includes the new colors, it includes all the variated colors. So earlier this year, I got a calyx for my stitching. Uh, my whips are in there and I'm getting it all together, getting it all organized and I'm really excited about it. And my floss, my DMC floss, has historically been on these homemade tags on little one inch binder rings on chopped up old hanging files and it works. It's a great um, solution. The issue that I'm running into is that some of my tags are falling apart um, and I don't have, I don't have like the, the remnants whole. Um, these are, uh, so there's pretty paper and it's been spray glued onto some heavier cardstock, but not great. <laughs> um, so this works, but it's not, it's not excellent. On top of that, it's in here. My file cabinet is right here. And um, all of my stitchy stuff is in the other room. So with my calyx being right there next to my stitchy spot, these new floss chips go in boxes that are from Ikea that fit the calyx cubes, which, ugh, so excited about like the just it all fitting the way it's supposed to so let me pull up this box so I can show you what it looks like in the box 
So here they are in, in the box and oh, aren't they cool? And uh, so when you order these, you get the, the foam that's been cut to, to set the chips in and the box is tall enough to uh, support them just kind of hanging down. Y'all, I am so excited about this. So a whole set will take four boxes uh, and I am just, I'm just so thrilled. So excited. So I just thought that I would share that with you. I will link them in the description box below in case anybody is looking for a solution for storage like this. So yeah, like I said, super thrilled about that. Um, and I'm going to progressively work on getting everything transferred from my old system into, into the chips. Oh, so thrilled. <laughs> Just, I'm just so excited. So, um, I think that's everything that I have here today. Nope, nope. <laughs> One more thing. One last thing. Uh, before I say my goodbyes, in the description box of this video, at the very top, I've got a couple of links to Emily C's video and also the link to go buy your ducks. Um, so, the duck derby is tomorrow. I know this video is going up a little bit late. Um, but hopefully I can get it up because it's shorter. Hopefully I can get it uploaded pretty quick like. Um, but anyway, um, watch her video. Go buy your ducks. Send Emily your receipts. Be entered to win cool stuff. She's got lots of really cool stuff. So go buy your ducks. Get it done. I'm going to get mine uh, just after I get this video filmed. Or just after I get this video uploaded. Uh, I keep forgetting my wallet in the car. So if you're like me and you keep forgetting your wallet in the car, go get it and get your ducks now. Uh, and so that is my, my real quick spiel. Watch her video, go buy your ducks. Good to go. Okay, everybody, I'm headed off. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support of me and my channel. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are stitching. As always, stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you next Friday.